Hello all, welcome again. This is session on VxWorks. Welcome to the VxWorks Labs implementation. In this session, we are looking at a first experiment as discussed. It's a timing. So to understand and optimize the performance of a real-time system, it can be useful to <coughs> time some of uh, some of the VxWorks applications and application functions. VxWorks provides a number of timing facilities to help with this task. <coughs> the VxWorks execution timer can time any subroutine or group of subroutines to time very fast subroutines. The timer can be can also repeatedly execute a group of functions until the time of a single iteration is known with this reasonable certainty. Let's look into the quickly look into the objective the to this is all about to demonstrate how to time a single subroutine using the vxwx timex protein let me give you a description of timex protein uh, timex routine uh, times a single execution of a specified function with up to eight integer arguments to be passed to the function when execution when you execution complete timex routine displays the execution time and a margin of error in milliseconds if execution was so fast relative to the clock rate that the time is meaningless error would be greater than 50 percentage a wire uh, a warning message will appear in such cases use timex n routine capital N routine which will repeatedly execute the function until the time of a single iteration is known with reasonable certainty. Here you can see the syntax of a timex function or a routine uh, called uh, void timex func ptr. So uh, function name give your function name and give the arguments in integer arg1 to through arc 8. We should note that the first argument in timex routine is a pointer to a function to be timed. It's, uh, up in the upcoming example, uh, we have two routines, subroutines I can say. The first subroutine will be timing makes a call two times with the function name print it, which is the subroutine to be printed uh, to be timed the arguments are all null so no parameters are being passed to print it the second subroutine is printed which is being timed <coughs> iterates 200 times while printing its task id here is the program first always this row includes that's vxworks.h timex lib.h stdio.h and we have iterations defined in a macro uh, for 20 it was sorry 200 and then uh, timing is the function to perform the timing so here use func ptr function underscore ptr is the name a pointer to a function print it and timex function p underscore ptr according to the syntax as we discussed Comma, null, 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 null. All the arguments were giving it as a null. And then we have a function being timed that is int printed, uh, which takes argument void. So <coughs> int i for i equal to 0 less than i less than iterations that is less than 200 in this case i plus plus printing the task id number and the increment variable i so print of percentage uh, per, print of uh, hello i am task percentage d and e and is i equal to percentage d slash n task id self method has been called comma i return zero so procedure is you just copy this code source code in the example and complete it load the object file onto the target machine run the example by executing timing on the wind sh you should note something 
make sure you have redirected ios otherwise you won't see the result of the printf commands following on experiment vary the number of iterations in loop that is here in this example i have given 200 vary it to 300 400 500 600 700 and note the changes in the execution speed and uh, decrease the number of uh, second ways decrease the number of iterations to 5 5 numeric 5 what happens you should get a warning message write a program to get the timing in this in this case so i would like to give you more additional information the timings measure the execution time of the routine body without the usual subroutine entry and exit code also the time required to set up the arguments and call the routines is not included in the reported times this is because the timing routines actually calibrate themselves by timing the invocation of a null routine and thereafter subtracting that uh, constant overhead if you want more you can refer to vxworks programmers manual and uh, reference manual timex lib thanks for watching and uh, please kindly subscribe <coughs> by clicking subscribe button and stay tuned for more updates thank you